I think that everyone in our city should have the ability to get around easily and access all of the great amenities that our city has to offer. For too long, we've thought about transportation really only from the perspective of someone in a car, and that has to change. I really do, at my core, want to see Louisville become a place where walking and biking and getting around in a bus is pleasurable, safe, you know, normal. I look forward to 10 years from now looking back and saying, look what we did. We made our city safer. Louisville is a really friendly place. I like to say that it's big enough to have everything that you need, but small enough to actually use it. I love our wonderful neighborhoods. We have beautiful parks. I think the people of Louisville are enthusiastically Louisville. They love their city. They love each other. I just think it's a great place to live. Louisville didn't have safe streets, and we still don't, right? We're getting better, we're going in the right direction. But, you know, we're way up there as far as pedestrian injuries related to vehicles. One of my dear friends was walking her dog up and down Bardstown Road and a car was turning off of Bardstown Road and hit her. We need to protect the community. We've spent years building a network to move cars. So trying to flip that to make it safe for all users, is, we're, we're making the right strides. So my role in the Complete Streets policy for Louisville was that I was contacted by the American Heart Association and and asked if I would support it. I said yes, and I uh, had conversations with our public works department and AARP, and we also had uh, youth advocates that were involved, and we created the ordinance and we introduced it through our public works committee. Had public hearings and a lot of people came to speak from the community. It really had a lot of support, and then it came to the full council for a vote and it passed overwhelmingly. Complete Street to me is about moving people and not moving cars. So we have to consider pedestrians, bicycles, scooters now. People are using the transportation network on a daily basis and we need to make sure that we build a network that's accessible by everybody. It doesn't matter what mode of transportation you take, it doesn't matter how much money you make, it doesn't matter where you're going, how far away you're going within the city, we want to make sure that we can accommodate everybody. Bardstown Road has seen a lot of changes in recent months. This is an area that needs a robust Complete Streets policy and can only thrive whenever we are integrating those Complete Streets principles. We've undergone a road design where we've restriped it. We've brought it down from three lanes of traffic in each direction down to one with parking on each side. And we have a lot of great changes planned for the upcoming year. Just this morning, I was in a meeting where we were talking about 32 different locations for bump outs. We have added street trees. We are really thinking holistically and we found the funding to really make a lot of big and bold changes. I represent one of the most walkable areas of the city. Louisville still has a lot of disparity and a lot of equity issues, and there are parts of our community, the historically black neighborhoods in our community, that have not seen the same types of infrastructure investments. A lot of our high-intensity traffic areas are also in the same areas that our poorest health outcomes are occurring in. Now we have the opportunity to try and correct that and address it and not pretend that it didn't happen or it's non-existent. I think no matter what part of town you live in, you deserve a street that is safe, that is enjoyable, that is pleasant, and where you can enjoy being in the public realm and getting around. Whenever you can get out, walk on the sidewalks, meet your neighbors, meet people in your community, that's tied to good outcomes as well. And so. When we promote the, the policy goals we have and we build that up with infrastructure, we end up with better outcomes.
Doing this work, it brings so much fulfillment to me personally. I love this community. I have children, I'm raising them in this community. I want them to be proud of the city that they were raised in. I'm very proud to have been a part of it. I feel very blessed to have met people I've met at the American Heart Association. You know, we all came together enthusiastically to, to make change and to make government for the people and by the people. And we did that. Seeing some of it really come to fruition, not just on Bartstown Road, but in other areas of the city, give me hope and excitement as I know like my friends and neighbors are excited too.